we are going to find the differential of this. So basically, we're going to find the derivative. And I'm going to write dy dx instead of y prime. So dy dx, I'm going to rewrite this one as 9 minus x squared to the 1 half. It's easier to derive it then. Bring the 1 half out front when you derive it. It's a chain rule. 9 minus x squared. Put negative 1 half. And then don't we derive the inside? Derivative of the inside looks like positive 2x. Now, actually, you're right, negative 2x. OK. That's my derivative. My differential is simply, you take this derivative and you multiply the dx over. So you end up with dy. You multiply both sides by dx. Okay. When you multiply both sides by dx, that cancels. And you end up with, let's see, if we simplify this, isn't that going to be x over, aren't these twos going to cancel? So that'd be negative x over 9 minus x squared to the 1 half dx. That would be your answer. That is a differential. The change in y is equal to this equation, change in x. That's how you say it. All right. This problem right here. You have a base of 30. So you measured this as 30, not drawn to scale. <laughs> That's 50. Now, if you have a triangle, you measure it, you're not going to be perfectly accurate. You say to yourself, I can measure within 0.25 or a quarter of a centimeter accuracy. You kind of give yourself an amount of error in your measurement. That's how accurate you think you are. Plus or minus, you understand this plus or minus? You can be above and below by 0.25. You think you're that accurate. Everybody might be differently, or you're computerized, if you're doing computer-wise, it has a certain amount of accuracy. The question is, what is the propagated error of the area? So what would be the area? Well, the technical area would just be 30 times 50, right? Divide by 2, because it's a triangle. But with this situation, we're going to see what the error would be off by. So area is equal to 1 half base times height, correct? Now, if I wanted to do this, I wanted to uh, find my uh, propagated error that's off by. What I want to do is I want to derive my area by either base or height. It doesn't really matter which one. So if I derive my area in terms of base or height, so this is going to be dA over dH is equal to, do you see a product rule? Can I put 1 half just out front? What's the derivative of B in terms of H? Wouldn't that be dB dH times H? Plus, if I leave B and I derive H, wouldn't that be dH dH? We just derived in respect to either H or D. It didn't H or B. I chose a letter. Now, DH, DH. What is DH, DH equal? DH, DH is equal to 1, correct? So won't that just kind of drop out? Now, for differential purposes, I'm going to multiply both sides by dh. So I now have dA is equal to 1 half. Now, would I distribute this? 
Is that okay? And when I distribute here, don't the DHs cancel, leaving me just DB? Oh, sorry. Can I put the H first? H times DB. Are you guys okay with that? This H, DH comes in here, and it's going to cancel with this DH. And this comes in here. Won't that just do, give you B DH? Looking back, I should have probably showed you, but I'm, I'm multiplying this in. It's going to cancel with this, leaving you just H DB, and this is B DH. Okay. Now, I want to know my propagated error. This is my change of A. What are my possible changes in A due to my possible changes in the B and the possible changes in the H? Are we okay? Now, so DA is equal to, what's the height I measured? 50. <coughs> now, DB, we don't know yet, but I'll talk about that. Do we know B? B. B is 30, but I don't know DH yet. Remember back up here? Isn't that my measurement, my possible mistake on my measurements? Now, would both these be affected the same amount? For this particular problem, are you guys okay that DH equals DB? Do you understand those are the same? Because the amount of change of my height and the amount of change of my base, should those be the same if I'm the one measuring it? And I'm a little measuring tape and I know I'm off by a blink amount. Won't those be the same amount? And won't the change be plus or minus 0.25. Are you okay with that? For both of them, it could be off positive 0.25 or less positive 0.25, or, or less 0.25. So are you okay that I put in here positive or negative 0.25 for both of these? You guys okay with that? My dB, my dH, my change in H height and base could both be off by a quarter centimeter. When I do this, I end up, could I pull a GCF out? My DA is going to be plus or minus 0.25 over 2, and what's 50 plus 30? 80. When you solve that, you end up with positive or negative 10.75 centimeters. Now, your area is centimeters squared, because aren't you doing area? Now, what this means is my area could be off by 10.75 square centimeters. What is my area? Area. My area was 1,500, correct? But my area could—it's 1,700 is my area, right? But it could be off by 10.25 plus or minus due to the errors on my measurements. The change in A could be this much. 